You may be living in a home and you want to sell the home while you're still living in it. What are the things you need to do to get your home market ready? Today we're going to look into that and use my current listing as an example on what we do to get the home ready. So stay tuned till the very end. This is Heather Lynn with Kel Williams. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about everything real estate related and tips to get your home sold for the highest possible value. If you find the information useful, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button and there will be more juicy videos coming your way every week. Um, so my clients have two young children. So when they first came to me, the home was living with two children. So there's naturally a lot of toys, a lot of personal photos on the wall so what we did was we came in we start decluttering we put away all the personal items such as photos a lot of kids artwork on the fridge fridge magnets and all the knickknack stuff you know put away in the cabinet box them away into the storage so as you could see now we are trying to really depersonalize it and but give it a nice and cozy presentable look so what we did is instead of having their family photos on the wall, we replaced them with abstract paintings so that are neutral. Usually we want to remove personal photos, items that represent, you know, political or sports affiliation. We want to remove all those items because we don't know what are the affiliations that the new buyers are coming in. So we don't want to place anything that could be offensive to them. And then what we did in this area is we clear all the clothing and then we put a couple of nice accent pillows that is complementary to their existing furniture which is more or less mid-century modern style this family already have really nice cabinet and dressers so what we did is we bring in small things like accent candles and a couple of other paintings to just to give it a little splash of color And over here, we clear a lot of the kids' painting and artwork and replace them with just decorative items. This home has the owners really like mystery century modern Spanish style decor. So we have those nice lanterns with a little Spanish details on them and just decorate the shelf with it. We bring in nice fresh flowers for the table. And the kitchen areas, as you know, a living home has a lot of a dish rack, lots of dishes, and maybe spices, condiments, and all that. So we put all of that away, either into the cabinets or box them away and just give it a clean look. But we also want to give it a little kind of warm and close feeling. So we leave some, you know, items, uh, accent items behind, such as the utensil holders and the rack for the, the spices. Add a, a couple, a few lemons to just give it pop of yellow and pop of color. This particular family also have a lot of Cousinard potware. So they have a whole display rack. And instead of having every rag, so we, we kind of leave a couple of those behind so to display their good taste in cookware, but not over clutter the corner. And this is the kids area. So kids room, sometimes it's nice to have the feel and look of what, when a young family comes in or a young couple comes in, it's good to give them the vision of what they could use as a room for when they welcome their new children. So we decided to leave behind a crib, but put away a lot more significantly more books and just display some really fun looking toys on the shelf and leave behind this really cute, you know, kids' kitchen kitchen area. So really cute. Again, you want to declutter, but if this is a room represents, you know, the future of vision, we want to leave elements of those items behind to highlight. And the bathrooms, usually for a living home, there's shampoo, there's toiletry. So we want to put away everything that, uh, that makes the space look cramped and cluttery away and just 
give it a few items like candles. It's always a great thing to decorate the bathroom with. Nice towels, matching towels, and put away all the used shampoo and toiletry items. And this is a master. And when we took on this project, obviously it's a living home. There were clothes, there were hampers, there were clothes bins. So we put away all those bins to open up the space. This is not a huge bedroom. So we want people to be able to walk around and still feel like there's plenty of space. So that's exactly what we did. We put away all the surface items, electronic plugs and cables, put all that away and just give it a clean look. And this is a master. We did exactly the same thing. Put away the toiletry, the shampoo, and you know, fold some towels and matching towels on the rack to make it look warm and cozy, but not overly personal and overly cluttered. So now you know how to sell a living home and how to declutter it to make it market ready. You might want to consider how to stage your home. So check out this video for some staging tips.